Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, and coming up next, we bring you our weekly TCM import. This week's film comes from across the Atlantic, from Finland, a movie from Finnish director and screenwriter Aki Korosmaki. From 1990, the third film of Korosmaki's proletariat trilogy, The Match Factory Girl. Also written by Korosmaki, the film follows the life of a simple match factory worker named Iris, played by Kati Outenen, who lives with her abusive mother and stepfather, struggling daily to make her life a bit better. There's very little dialogue, and the emotions displayed by the actors are, at times, completely blank and unidentifiable, as if many of the characters are already dead inside and have simply accepted their fate. In truth, Iris does lead a rather miserable existence, and when things seem to be getting just a tiny bit better, there is something there to knock her back into the reality of her lower class status and difficult life. Like many of Korosmaki's films, this is dark and grim throughout, so dark it seems almost a send-up of bleakness at times. But Iris, through Korosmaki, draws you in, and you'll be transfixed at times. In his 2011 list of great films, Roger Ebert included The Match Factory Girl, describing it as, quote, unrelentingly unyielding. Of course, Mackey's most recent film had much more comedy in it, 2011's Le Havre, which won Best International Film at the 2011 Munich International Film Festival. But here, from 1990, is the TCM premiere of Korosmaki's The Match Factory Girl. <laughs> 